Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Dennis. So if you watched the last video, you would have seen me take a Ryzen 2600, put a Ryzen 5 uh, 5600X in it. And one of the things I talked about was updating your Gigabyte BIOS. So some of the things that can happen with that is you might get an error message. One of the error messages I got meant I couldn't even go in and do a BIOS update with the uh, app that's on the, the system. So I'm going to show you what I did and then I'm going to show you how to update the Gigabyte BIOS. First I'll go in and show you how to, um, how to know what version you're running with the Gigabyte App Center. And then I'll show you, I'm going to take you to the website, show you the website where you need to get your BIOS, where you need to download it from and how to fix that error message. So here we go. Okay, so first we're going to update the Gigabyte BIOS. And so the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to go into the app. So the Gigabyte app you should have on your computer if you have a Gigabyte motherboard. If you don't, you should go in and install it. Now I've only got these two programs, RGB Fusion and BIOS. So we're going to click on BIOS. And the reason we want to go in here first is to get our version number. So you're going to see a UEFI BIOS our motherboard name and our BIOS version is F20 so it's pretty old and this is our number for the series uh, flash memory type so we can update from server and pick one of these right you can update from file if you've already got it uh, saved which is what we're gonna wind up doing or and you can save the file okay and you can do face wizard I'm not familiar with this too much but uh, Anyway, the way we're going to do it is update from file and pick ours. But before you can do that, and first, of course, you have to verify what version you have, you have to go find it. So we're going to go online and we're going to find that. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go into gigabyte.com. Go up here to products, and you're going to need to know what motherboard you've got. Okay, so if you don't know, you're going to have to look it up. I know that mine is in an or a Aorus. Uh, motherboard so I'm going to click on that you can kind of narrow your search just by clicking on here and pick on whatever uh, is your motherboard mine's an AMD X570 so that narrows my search and I'm going to scroll down here and X570 Aorus I always get that wrong Ultra now when it comes up here now especially if you're getting that error message you go over to support and it's gonna you have to choose your OS okay it's 10 Windows 10 64 bit is the one that I have and you have a utility here so you can click on the utility go to the App Center go over here download it update your App Center do that first if you don't do that first well it's just not gonna work for you so once you've done that your App Center is gonna work you're gonna open it up like I just showed you and now you're going to be able to go in and do your BIOS. So your BIOS is right here, okay? So I'm just going to go back, just going to go here to where it says BIOS. The most current one is F33, all right? So that was dated 1st of June 2021, which mine definitely is not. So I'm going to download this. And see now, here's the thing. I had downloaded it for a gigabyte motherboard on a different system and I thought, oh, that's no problem, I'll just use that. No, it's not the same. You have to download the right one. So you're going to click on this download here, but before you do that, make sure you have a USB stick or a flash drive, whatever you want to call it. It's a USB flash drive. Make sure it's in there so you can copy directly to there. That, or you can copy it to your um, PC and then move it to there. It's up to you how you want to go ahead and do it. So I'm going to put my USB drive in now. Now you used to have to have FAT32 and depending on how you're doing this, you may still. But in this case, you don't. They've, they've kind of fixed that so you don't need that all the time anymore. So anyway, um, make sure that your USB drive is in there and it's recognized. And so you can just go check in your Windows Explorer 
Look on my PC. Your USB drive is not showing up, but you now see mine's right there. Then I'm fine. Then make sure it's in there. Okay, so the most recent version I've got is right here. All right, so I'm going to click on download. And it's going to go in here. It's going to take a second. Now, I'm going to go click on this and show in folder. And it's going to be right here. So, double click it. The file you need is this one. All right. Okay, this is the one we need. So, I'm going to extract. And I'm going to tell it to go to my flash drive. Okay, so, I'll have to go here. is the Kingston drive. Click OK and click OK. Now right now you haven't done anything. You've just extracted the file you're going to need. Alright, so I'm going to close everything else down. Close this down. And now we're going to update the BIOS. So basically you're going to go back into your App Center. Okay, right here. Open it up. If you've done the App Center and you've updated it, you won't get an error message when you click on this. So click on your BIOS. Everything comes up okay. You're good to go. Okay, once you're in here, like I said before, you can see what version you're running. Okay, we have a UEFI BIOS. That is our Ultra F20. All right. And now, if we want to go ahead and do this, we're going to go Update from File. Okay, so that's when we're going to go here and we're going to find our file on our iDrive. And there's our file right there. So all you're going to do now is click OK. Now see that was a previous B450 one, so if we don't want that, you can leave it there, it won't hurt anything. Click OK. And you're going to click Next. Now, before you proceed, let me just warn you. Anything you do beyond this point, or just updating your BIOS, has a huge risk. If you do it wrong, well, I can't be held responsible. So that's on you. So we're going to update the file. So I'm going to click Next. It's going to warn you, just like I just did. All right. So be sure. Click OK. Save the current BIOS file. Uh, I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say save it to the C drive. Click OK. And that is going to start the flashing. It's going to start the process right there. Okay. It's going to go in. It's going to grab my file. I don't know why it works this way. I just know it does. And when this is complete, you're going to see the BIOS version is going to be a new one. Now, it may want to reboot your system at the, after this. So, not to worry. We'll come back and we'll show you that it is complete. So, now it's going to be reading and writing, checking back and forth, all that kind of good stuff. Now, something that might save you, if you're lucky, and it's not that, not that often, is sometimes if you have um, a jewel of BIOS, sometimes you can get it back if you mess things up. Just make sure you're patient. Wait for the whole process to finish. Okay, don't rush it. Well, you can't. But uh, just let the whole thing take its time and uh, it'll do it on its own. Okay, it'll update. Everything will finish. It will reboot your system. And that's it. Hopefully, everything will be done, it'll be successful, and then you're uh, good to go. Okay, so our system is rebooting, and if all has gone well, it'll come up and everything will be fine. If it doesn't, well, this has been a bad day. And the fact that I'm getting a screen, I get errors every time I do this, folks, so just be aware. I've switched from the Screen software, okay, see that's a good thing, right there. It's booting up, it's telling me 
everything is going to be okay. All right. If this wasn't getting to this screen right now, you would have a problem. Okay, so this is completely normal. System's going to do its thing. And it's going to come up. See? And Windows is coming up. We are successful. If it didn't come up to Windows, it would have failed. And there we go. Done. Now we'll go in and verify our new version. Okay, so the last thing to do now is go back into our app. Okay, so into our app center. And you know what it looked like before, so here we go. Here's our new look here. Uh, our X570 Aurora Ultra F33. Okay, so done, successful. That's how you update your BIOS. It is a terrifying process every time I do it. So, if you get nervous and you freaked out, that's okay. It happens. It happens to me every time. Because replacing your motherboard if something goes wrong, well, that's an expense I don't need. That's it. All right, everybody, so that's the video. So uh, it's always a little scary when you're updating your BIOS because there's huge risk if it goes wrong. Um, didn't go wrong. I've done this a couple times now. Uh, it works perfect. Um, if you get that error message that I showed you, go in, update your App Center, and then everything should go fine after that. Um, hope you like it. Hope it taught somebody something. Hope it helps you out to update your BIOS specifically for Gigabyte in this particular case. Make sure you choose the right motherboard and the BIOS for that motherboard. Don't choose a different one because you will break your motherboard. Okay, has to be the specific BIOS for your motherboard. Okay, make sure you get the right one. Can't stress that enough. Anyway, all went well. Hope you like it. If you like it, hit that like. If you don't, well, you know what to do. If you're new here, think about subscribing and hit that bell for future notifications so you can see other videos as they come up. Thanks for watching.